Hey, it's Candy and Harriet. Uh, welcome to day two of Vlogmas. We're gonna get into an art project here soon, but right now we're chilling. We're chilling and <laughs> watching Love Island. I don't know why. I, I started watching the show because one of my friends suggested it. And, hi. Uh, it's just ridiculous. But I'm like 24 episodes in, so I have to watch the last 12. There's 36 episodes on this thing. It's insane. It's on it's on Hulu. I'm watching season six, if if you care. Uh so yeah, I'll get into an art project here soon, but we're gonna have some snuggles because I just got home from work. I've got my stuff set up to do my art project. So we'll get to that here in a few, but I wanted to say hi and Oh 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 no. She's playing with the camera strap. And Athena's over there. Oh, you just saw a preview of a project that will be in a video later. <laughs> Not a very good preview because it was pretty blurry, but something that Brittany and I did this weekend. Uh-oh, she's getting down. All right, I'll set up the camera and start this art project. Hi, Teeny. Hi, Teeny. Mom's gonna start a project. Look out, look out, coming through. Okay, so I've got my basket of paints, got my paintbrushes with random other stuff in it, got a pencil, a cup with some water, some paper towels, here's my canvas, See what size this canvas is. I think it's 16 by 20. Yes, 16 by 20 canvas is what I have. So it's fairly large. And what, the project that I want to do, I saw it in an ad on Facebook, and it's Santa Claus, and he says there's some hose in this house. And if you don't know the reference to that, it is a um, Cardi B. Okay, get off of there. It's a Cardi B and Meg The Stallion song quote from the song WAP. Uh, most of you may not know what that is, but some of you probably will. Um, I don't necessarily like the Santa Claus on here. I'm just, I have this for reference, but I think this is the Santa face that I wanna use. Uh, I just printed these off the internet, just looked up Santa coloring pages. And I thought what else I would do make this a true like paint and sip is I would have my wine so let's pull out wine Edmund box number two this is bloom dust chardonnay from the Columbia River Valley here in Washington State hey 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 <laughs> get off of there get down so let's give this a try Oh yeah, it's very florally. Like it's not fruity at all. It's it's very like forward in like dandelions. Maybe I mean I see dandelions on the front of the the label, and that's the the type of flavor I get is like a very floral flavor. So we'll drink that while we're doing this. But I think what I'm gonna start is I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm gonna try to sort of sketch out what I want. Um, I think, where do I want Santa? I kinda want him in the middle, kinda central, but I want hose to be fairly big down here. So maybe I'll put him up a little further. Let's do hose first. I'm just going to very lightly draw it on here. Um, Brittany and I went to a paint and sip. Gosh, it's been over a year ago now, I would think. And um, what she did is she drew out, the teacher drew out what they wanted us to draw. 
and then we just kind of you know went with it so that's what I'm kind of gonna do here I, I'm not a I'm not an artist <laughs> I'm, I'm not a good artist but I'm gonna do my best okay so I've got my hoe <laughs> and I've got my hoe down here on the bottom and then I'm gonna do in this house I'm just gonna Like I said, roughly draw it in there. I can refine it when I... Okay, so I think I'm going to do theirs. Some. If you hear noises in the background, my washing machine is going. <laughs> I'll do that up here. They... Yeah, they have an apostrophe. And then some. So I've got there's some hose in this house. So I've got my words where I want them. Like I said, just roughly. I'm wondering if I should just try to I should try to trace this or try to draw this on here. Let me. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look at the picture and just kind of sketch it on here and go from there. That way I can use up my space very thoughtfully. And if, like I said, if the sketch doesn't come out perfect, that's okay. I can go back when I'm painting and fix it. His cheeks come in like this. I think his eyes are too far apart, but maybe we can fix that later. I don't know, might work out. It's got a cute little nose. A brown little nose. Okay, and then we've got the big beard. Okay, so I've got it sketched out there. You guys can kind of see what I've done. I'm wondering if I should start with the Santa face first. That way if I hate it, I can paint the whole thing white and I haven't done too much work. Uh, it's not terrible. I don't know, looking at it, it's not that bad. Can definitely make his beard more pronounced. Okay, I'm gonna start painting here, I think. Let's take another sippy sip. I'm gonna start probably with his eyes just so I have a sense of where I'm going from there. So, let's see. Where's my phone? It never hurts to pull up uh, reference pictures. So I'm gonna Google Santa face. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of look at this one and you know, 
do that. Let's. Again, I'm not an artist, but I try. <laughs> I try my damnedest to make things look nice. Okay, let's grab some white paint. Put the paint down here so we can get to it really easily. These are acrylic paints. Most of them are by Folk Art. This one is actually called Winter White. So, go away phone. Got my little dollar store paint palette here. What I'll probably do for his hair and his eyebrows is take the white and add just a teeny bit of gray and then obviously his beard will be completely white and his hat will be white before his like actual like eyebrows and his hair that's popping out from underneath the hat probably add a little bit of gray to it just to differentiate the colors Put that aside because I'm going to need that later. I need a super tiny brush. And I'm going to get some blue. I'm going to use this cool blue. This one's by Apple Barrel. Some of this paint is like fairly old. So <laughs> it may not look the best. Oh no, I got some on my canvas. Crap. It's okay. It's okay. I figured what I'd do after I get the painting done is to go back and add some flourishes like holly leaves and things like that to cover up maybe some mistakes that I made. Maybe I should have you guys over the top of me looking down. Let me, I'll move the camera here in just a minute. Okay, so now you guys are kind of over the top of my painting, so you can more see what I'm doing. So I've got his eyes. Now, considering his face is kind of sideways, I think having a smaller eyeball on that one side is fine. Maybe it's too much. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna grab the red. Let's see what reds I have. I'm gonna use this apple barrel um, in red apple. Oh yeah, this is what I brought the, the water out for, Christy, Candy, whoever you are today. <laughs> so I can wash off the brushes. I can reuse them. If I wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the red apple, or apple red, whatever. I'm gonna turn it this way so it's a little closer to me, easier for me. And once I'm done painting everything, I can go back in and draw in the lines with either black paint or you know um, a, sh a black sharpie kind of refine things probably get the majority of it done tonight and then tomorrow I can show you guys kind of the final project or finish it up tomorrow.
can do like outlines and stuff like that. Do you guys do a lot of like crafting around the holidays? Seems like when I get most of my crafting energy is around the holidays. Maybe it's just because it's, you know, cold outside and it's better to stay inside. <laughs> My sister is actually the artist in the family. She is so talented. She's done like some of the artwork in my room and she's just so crafty and amazing. She used to have her own business where she did um, custom, you know, stuff. So, all right, there's the red Sandy's hat. Maybe go back through and do another coat later. <clears throat> um, what should we do next? Probably should mix up some pink fleshy <laughs> Santa flesh. <laughs> so for that, I'm going to start with some pink. I'm going to start with fuchsia. I'm just using what I have. I'm going to add in a little bit of orange. And white. By all means, make Santa whatever color you want him to be kind of going with the classic that I grew up with. So we ended up with this color. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna fill in skin tone. I just needed this a little bit closer to me. I think that's, that's all right. Yeah? Okay. So anyway, what I was talking about earlier is, um, I know that around Christmas time, my grandma always had crafts for us to do. She always had some kind of project. We were babysat by my grandma um, as far back as I can remember. And she always had some sort of project for us to do. We made a lot of pipe cleaner ornaments and you know, things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cover over that. we can come back to it. So I drew in the nose, but I did paint over it. Because we're going to come back with the white and go over that anyway. Oh wait, his cheeks. Right? Yeah. This is drying a little more orange than when I mixed it. That's okay though. You know what? It's art. It's uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. I'm either gonna keep this or give it to Brittany. So, because <laughs> this is like when that song came out, she was just obsessed with it. As she is with most of Meg the Stallion's 
music. She's gotten me into all sorts of different stuff. Cardi B and her and Xavier got me into Post Malone. I had never listened to him before. And now I'm like obsessed with Post Malone. He's on my hall pass list. Okay. I think his his lips should be probably a little redder than that. Let me see. Okay. All right, I'm going to work on this some more. And I will turn you guys off, but I'll come back and show you in a little bit what I have done. All right, so I've got this far on the painting. You can see I've pretty much got everything done. I used brush strokes to kind of add some texture to the beard. So what I'm going to do is let this dry for a little bit. Go ahead and edit what I already have. And finish making my dinner and then I'll come back and do some of the final touches and show you guys and open the other two advent calendars so that's where we're at yeah I'm actually I'm really happy with it uh, I think it's looking really nice so yeah I'm just gonna let it dry for a while so I can add some fun stuff down to the hoe and outline everything else <sighs> okay guys I finished him there he is. So I just took, <laughs> I took a black Sharpie and kind of put in those fine details on his face and stuff. And then down on the hoe, <laughs> I have this uh, liquid silver paint pen and I just drew in some checks. It's simple, but I actually really like it. I actually really like it. Like, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah. There's some hoes in this house now. <laughs> I gotta find a place to hang them. There might be something I can hang them over, <clears throat> over the TV. So, put him aside for now. So let's get into the advent calendars. And then I'll get this uploaded for you guys. All right, so day two of the NYX calendar. We've got the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. La, la, la. I'm just gonna poke this out just a little bit to show you guys. And then put the lid back on because I have this in a bigger size already that I got somewhere else. I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in my giveaway pile. Um, there probably will be some type of giveaway at the end of Vlogmas, but I haven't super planned that out yet. I know I said I was ready. I didn't say I was completely ready. All right, number two of the Too Faced. <clears throat> is the Primed and Poreless Banishing and Blurring Face Primer. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that with all the light and everything. There we go. So this is just going to be a nice blurring face primer. It's slightly tinted. Oh, it feels nice and silky. I'll show you on my hand what it does because you can see the difference. So I have it on this side of my hand. Mm, there we go. Now you can see it. I don't know if you can see, but this side is like dry and it's got like a lot of wrinkles. And now this side is nice and smooth and pretty. 
So that'll come in handy. Um, I have been wearing a lot more moisturizer and primer uh, just because, you know, it's winter and my skin is extra dry and that's icky. <laughs> it's icky. Um, yeah, that's it for today. That's day two in the bag and I'm not stressed yet. Hallelujah. <laughs> so thank you guys for swinging by for day two of Vlogmas. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.